Hey my friends, welcome back to Arms Only Gaming, Mike here. I was just in a mood for something else. Now if you've seen this previous video of mine where I fight the Amigdala, I have this method where I use the Ludwig Blade, uh, standing by the tail and stuff. But I thought I wanted to give the stake driver a, uh, a go. So I dressed up as Jura and I thought, well, let's see if this works. I'm going to try the same method with just a different weapon. Now, note that my stake driver is also maxed out, it's also a plus 10, and yeah, I mean, you can see the, the damage that it's causing. If you haven't seen my previous video on how I fight the Amigdala, um, I, I have this method where I lock onto his back, and then I wait, well, it's not him, it's her. If you're standing on the right side of the, the tail, and it jumps, the head is going to land on the left side. Uh, vice versa, if you stand on the left side and he jumps, the head's going to be on the right. And then uh, just use a R2 attack. Okay, my distance is a little bit wrong here. I need to figure out this weapon. I've never played with this weapon. But uh, it does significant damage, if I must say so myself. Okay, I got it there. I know there was a point in this, in this fight where I, I got it stunned so I could give it a, a, a visceral attack. But yeah, that's, that's it's a very simple method that I use. I mean, I've had a lot of practice in this uh, way of fighting. You can check out how my easy co-op way, if you're playing with friends to beat the Amigdala, the most effective uh, method I found was to uh, just hit the, the glowing arms or the dangling arms. I mean, there's so many targets to hit. Left side, power attack. Okay. That, that was a decent one. Yeah, got the visceral over here. Bring here your peanut head. Kind of looks cool. It's it, it's such a cool weapon, the stake driver. It's it's a it's actually a very powerful weapon. I've seen a lot of uh, PvP battles that I've done. A lot of players use that weapon. Um, the only criticism I have is sometimes it's a bit slow. It takes a while, like there, it, it takes a while to get that power attack where the Ludwig Blade is actually faster for me. But um, still a great weapon. I'm not uh, saying it's bad. I mean, you can use any weapon that you want. I am currently busy experimenting with all the different builds, different weapons and stuff. Um, <coughs> but... Um, I've said this previously, my friends. I mean, this game is so good. I love, I love Bloodborne. I wish we could have a prequel to the game. There's so many rumors going around about this game. A prequel would be good. You know, tell us where Eileen came from. Tell us where Gascoigne came from. Tell us where uh, Henrik and all the, the characters that we've grown to love in this game came from. Um, who knows? Who knows? Maybe. We'll, we'll get something in the near future. I really hope so. Um, there's very few games that I enjoy playing as much as I do the Souls games. This game, Dark Souls 3, uh, it, it, it's just, they've done so well. Um, but yeah, getting back to this fight, as you can see, I'm, I'm doing relatively okay damage there. But check out my method, on the proper method on how I fight the Amigdala. Uh, by locking on, standing at the back. Oh, that was a one hell of a shot. Uh, when you're standing on the side and, you know, just using your power attacks. But I will see you guys in the next one, my friends. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a lovely day or evening wherever you are in this world. And we'll, uh, we'll talk soon. Cheers, my friends.